for the sea lies all about us. Narrow are the coastal strips on which people live. As the sea level rises, they lose their land and their history. Ancient civilizations sink into oblivion. But on one island in the northern Pacific, the inhabitants resist forgetting. The Japanese archipelago stretches over 3,000 kilometers. Hokkaido is the northernmost of the four main islands. Hokkaido is a crossroad from the east to the west. Since ancient times, these roads bring people from all directions together here. But where are the footprints of the first settlers? Jormon is an ancient hunter-gatherer culture. Did the Jormon people leave traces that we can read? Did they invent pottery? In 1975, a village woman believed she found a particularly big potato. But as she scraped off the earth, the potato looks at her. She had discovered the head of a German era clay figurine. In 2007, the clay figurine was declared a national treasure of Japan. For the figurine, a museum was built, the Jormon Center. What makes Jormon culture on Hokkaido unique? What is its universal value for the entire world community? To answer these questions, we look back to the Ice Age. In the north of Hokkaido, a new culture emerges about 2,300 years ago. An international team reveals traces of the Ohotsk sea hunters. To the scientists' great surprise, they also find barley. What does this find mean for the cultural history of Hokkaido? Since when does agriculture exist in Japan? Together, the scientists are looking for answers. All Japanese have Jormon genes, but the Ainu inherited the old knowledge about the life on natural resources. The first reports about them date back to the 15th century. The Ainu kept the age-old crafting techniques, only pottery making they have forgotten. About 12,000 archaeological sites from the last 20,000 years are known on Hokkaido. How can we preserve this treasure for the world and the next generations? The Hokkaido Universe.